All right, welcome to a very special episode of I'm Open. I'm Open. <laughs> uh, today, in lieu of a usual preview, we're doing a fantastic idea brought to us by our very own Jonah. Um, and we are going to be drafting non ultimate athletes onto our ideal AUDL team. Um, so we're going to go 14 rounds, get our 7 line, 7 D line. We have with us two guests. Uh, we were originally going to have three, but one of them is a little baby who's still asleep. We have Jonah Golder uh, from, you know, Tulane University Nationals yeah. 2021 yeah, fame. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have Max Ling from Sub-Zero Practice Squad fame. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah we've got all the experts in the house we're ready to go um like i said we were originally gonna have jamie but uh jonah informed us he's too sleepy uh jonah and jamie are in europe so it's like 7 a.m there so he's being a baby in, in short baby. in short so we're gonna auto draft for him but i have this beautiful draft hey. layout for us um yeah anything before we get started oh i have a question to discuss yeah so when we draft our player do we have to commit them as an o-liner or d-liner and handler or a cutter like right away or can we mix and match Ooh. i would like you to to make a designation but you can change it after i think okay, okay. I, I also have one more question mm -hmm. um so are we like assuming that these players are like all in on like training for ultimate or we just assume that they're already like yeah yeah like yeah pros like we're just assuming they're already pros kind of thing we're, i think we're okay. we're taking them in their current form we're saying your sport doesn't exist anymore so you have to play okay. frisbee and then they're joining the team and like learning how to throw and, okay like we'll we'll assume they can pick it up because they're you know all insane gonna be athletes. insane athletes but okay yeah, the like the skill sets they have, that's what they're bringing in. Okay, cool. Cool. Um, uh, who do you think is going to have the cringiest pick of the entire draft? <laughs> well, <laughs> my since pre, since we're pre draft auto... analysis was Jamie, and then Jonah informed me that, that he was going to take Usain Bolt in the first round. <laughs> so I think that's already locked up, even though he's not here. <laughs> Yeah, Sam, how is this auto draft going to work? Are you just, you're just free balling it for, for Jamie? We're going to, we're going to decide together. We're going to pick like the oh. worst athlete we can think of to fit it. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love like that. I'm thinking like Boban Marjanovic, like. <laughs> Dude, that was my thought. That yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. First round, first round. <laughs> Dude, did you watch Hustle today? I know we talked earlier. No, no, I did didn't. watch Hustle? I, thought I watched about it, it, it yesterday. Hey, no free promos, <laughs> no free promos. <laughs> okay. Respect, yeah, that's respect. Right. That's right. Um, one clarifying note, all these mm. players are current. So like if they're old, it's what they are now. If Like they're active yeah. players. Yeah, this yeah. is current athletes in their current form um and we're only doing male matching athletes to go along with our AUDL genre um but yeah why don't we why don't we go ahead and get started uh so Jonah you are on the clock um when I was told I was going to get the first pick you know it was uh it brought almost a tear to my eye uh oh I know who's going. this is cringy you know who I'm picking you know no uh, it's 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 not cringy I like that. I, I like told you I'm, I'm I'm in I'm in Europe right now so you know you got to go with the 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 home continent you know uh oh, wait, Greece, sorry, sorry. uh the Greek freak uh Giannis oh, oh. I, thought, oh. I thought you're going something else but yeah whoa Greek. you thought I was going something else yeah yeah all right, you, well. you'll see all right and Giannis uh what seven what, white player as they say in frisbee you know like what position you got for him uh let's let's just throw a line cutter but i mean he, he could do anything that's, not, that's not what you were expecting wow. no wow, okay i yeah i mean i think all three of us ha uh, had a different idea for your first overall pick especially with the setup um yeah but great uh, pick. but um nice. Giannis was definitely gonna be my first overall pick um but I think based on uh, what I saw tonight, I, I got to go with with the with the program. Uh, 
it's it's proven greatness. I got to go with Steph Curry as my O line handler. I mean, wow. he's a shooter. You, you when you have someone who's got the best throws in all of the AUDL, you have to be taking them first round. You have like to it. be. Right. This is this is a, a six three like freak athlete version of nether cut we're looking at <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, not not the same beer not the same beer less turnover yeah um uh, yeah that's a good pick me and uh, me and ryan were talking before uh since we're teamed up we wanted we wanted to pay respect to the the finals mvp taking first round but oh, yeah but he, he did not pick. fall um sam three the two out of our top three have already been taken but our number one has not been taken does that mean we we go for it the king i think so we're gonna take lebron james um oh oh, yeah i think (laughs) i don't know i think (laughs) he's still got it he 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 kind of brings everything you want in a frisbee player i mean he's gonna go up and get that sky ball he's gonna create a brand new offense and defense like Oh, he's he's got everything so we're taking lebron and uh so. what do you want d-line handler yeah i think so oh, d-line yeah he's 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 too old now now he's he's got to lead the d-line you know i don't know how much i like as 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 him as a handler um but i, I, I see him as like a you know that old guy handler on the team who like if he's if he's next to a guy who can get resets like he'll be fine you know right. what I mean? If you can just kind of quarterback to yeah, to, to bridge to AUDL, sort of a Jake Radak of the Austin Soul kind of yeah. kind of vibe. <laughs> I could see him being like, you know, the one in the stack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, all right. Very oh, sweet. So now <laughs> we've reached Jamie's pick. We get to auto pick. Uh, so me and Max brought up Boban Marjanovic. I think that's a good first round pick yeah, for him. That's a great love pick. It, love it. Love it. As I think in, that just shows that um, I, I think Boban's definitely going to be a D line cutter, and I got to be thinking, I got to be thinking that uh, um, Jamie's going for the uh, the all zone team, the all zone oh. team for sure, especially based on what I what in my brain what I got cooked up for him. All right, <laughs> he's got a back to back. So uh, Ryan and Jonah, you want to take this one? What are you mm. thinking? Um, I, I think he's he's lacking height. Uh, and a player that comes to mind is uh, Rudy Gobert. Um, I okay. think he'd be a perfect, oh, okay. perfect uh, player for his team. But Jonah, you can you got any other ideas? Let I me mean, know. are we are we like we're auto drafting like just okay okay I, I see what you're doing. Uh, what position do you want him at, Jonah? I, I was Rudy. <laughs> yeah, Rudy. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I mean, obviously defense. Definitely not offense. Um, let's, let's yeah, he's not the like, offensive player of the year. Maybe, maybe he's maybe he's like a he's like a wing in his own for for running. Uh, I like a it. Traditional like you know three three zone. He's that sort of like breakside wing. Cleans up. Yeah, the... yeah, yeah. Lanky can get those D's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Ryan, back to you. What do we got? Back to me. Uh, what kind of position are you looking for, Sam? I would love to get our first O line guy here. Our first oh. O-line guy. Oh, I know who okay. I want. I know who I want. You know who I'm going to let you take it. I know, I'm going to let you take it. All right. So me and Ryan are going to take Lamar Jackson. Oh, Love it. At nice. O-line handler. That's a great pick. Um, yeah, I think I think the pick speaks for itself. So I'll yeah. just leave it at that. I'm a little bummed based on the fact that I feel like we've had so much conversation um that there, there's a lot of chemistry here and i feel like i feel like you guys are ruining my draft board by taking by taking my uh my other o-line handler off the board but, oh uh, yeah that's tough i'm gonna take a Lamar one. curry background back, back <laughs> group would be sick it'd be pretty tough um so i'm gonna keep up with my o-line but i gotta give steph curry uh his number one receiver and in that Ooh. i want someone who is both fast can go up and get the ball and has uh, some great, you know, technique to his to his cuts. So I'm gonna go with big body DK Metcalf. Oh, one okay. dimensional player though. <laughs> quite it, one. It, quite the one rest of the roster will fit. You'll see. <laughs> um. All right. So it's back to me. I got two picks. Uh. So. 
I guess probably what you all were thinking I was going to take. Uh, I might just grab yeah, me here because why it. not? Um, I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Patrick Mahomes as my <laughs> O-line handler, center <laughs> O-line handler. You know, he can throw righty or lefty. He's huge arm. That was all the He's the got tights. the low release with the football, so yeah, imagine exactly, what the exactly. first be. The no looks, I mean, what more would you want? He's got the clutch gene. Like he, I, he's he's gonna be the best thrower in the league, like by far. Hands down, I think. Curry you may know. have the best accuracy, but Patrick's got accuracy, distance, power, everything. The vision. He's got the vision. The vision. Yeah. The vision. Yeah. Yeah. Um all right. So I, I got my like my main O-line connection set up right now. So I'm gonna go over to D-line and get uh I'm going to grab uh, Kawhi Leonard as a great uh, uh, D-line defender. We'll put him as a D-line cutter. But he's, he's taking the best guy every time out of the game, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. And on offense, he's elite too. Absolutely, yeah. So when we get that turn, maybe he'll, he'll cross over. Who knows? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, Ryan. Or, sorry, Max, what you got? Um. Well, I was gonna look like you Kawhi. wanted him, yeah. I, oh. yeah. I was gonna take Kawhi, that's tough. He was gonna be the other centerpiece of my defense, so um, that's a little tough. Uh, but I think I think I still, you know, can go a different way on defense. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with someone that I think is just gonna bring a, a, a championship mindset on the defensive end, a lot of grit. So I'm gonna go with Jalen Ramsey as my oh. as uh defense i need someone who's gonna talk some shit um who's gonna you know bring a little uh, bring a little swag to the team love it is he cutting for you yeah yeah absolutely he was definitely near the top of our list yeah good good pick good pick thank you um sam since we kind of have tech not technically but technically the next two picks um i'm gonna take the next one and this is a guy who I just don't think is going to be stopped on the cutting layer, and he's going to play on our O-line as a cutter, but when he has the disc in his hands, he's a shooter. And I'm going to take Cristiano Ronaldo. Nice. Mm. All right. That's a good one. That's a good one. It was tough for me to think about soccer players, to yeah. be honest, and just see it how is it tough. transitioned, but I, I, I think you're right with that one. He's got if we're ups. talking like basketball accuracy, like shooting translates to throwing, then I think like soccer accuracy, you know, that skill level. If you gave Ronaldo like years of practice on the Frisbee field, he'd be insane. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, they got the cutting Wait. down and stuff. It's, right. it, I think the issue is I can't really picture the hand-eye coordination with, with any of these right. guys. But yeah. The way but, he gets open in a, on a soccer field, like he can get open in the end zone. The only thing I'll say about our team so far is that we've got some – some ancient players <laughs> in LeBron and Ronaldo, but don't worry, we'll get some we'll get some useful later rounds. Um, all right, yeah. we've reached we've reached the auto draft portion of our draft. So I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with someone who I think can be the centerpiece uh, of Jamie's offense. Um, I think someone who is an athlete, underrated athlete. I think Jordan Speed. <laughs> <laughs> Golfing extraordinary. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, he's this is your O line handler. This is your center handler. Yeah. Oh He'll god. have the hand-eye coordination. He just can't get open. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 It's okay oh though. He just. God. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So right. now, now we should give him a cutter, right? Yeah, let's give him an O line cutter. This is a guy who can. You know, a lot of cutting is like your center of gravity. You can get low, get under the defense. I'm thinking Yadier Molina (laughs) has that written all over him. He will sneak by dudes, get into his little crouch position, and just fly by guys for big unders. Yeah, Yadier Molina's got to be a free under at this point. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Great right um, against the zone O also, <laughs> might, I, might I add. All right. Um, so this this guy I, I envision as an O-line handler, um, and I think it would be – it would be a – he would be a unique handler because he could definitely push downfield. And I want to pick 
that doesn't help our age. But I want to pick Kevin Durant. <laughs> oh no, O line. Oh. I think you know we we haven't discussed how long these teams have to play for. So if it's one season, we're fine. <laughs> um, but even that. I I see yes. you know. I don't know. I think with Lamar Jackson's speed, Kevin Durant's ability to get up, you have two handlers who could push downfield and create like an insanely dynamic offense. Yeah. Um, I'm a little nervous that Udonis Haslam is coming off the board soon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Nominate screams, Olympics. screams I mean, did you see did you see Iggy there. get those minutes in the fourth quarter? Dude, he closed the game for the Warriors. <laughs> he, he did. He's a closer still. All right, Max, um, who you got? Um, so I'm I love defense. Um, I don't play defense, but I love talking about defense and thinking about defense. Um, and I think to go along with Jalen Ramsey, I need someone who's just going to be another, just another person who's going to be a shutdown corner and uh, or shutdown cutter defender. And I think I'm going to go with, um, I think I'm going to go with Tra- uh, Trayvon Trayvon Diggs. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't he, know. And, and he also showed some real offensive upside um, with by leading the league in interceptions. <laughs> I, I, I like that. that. I like that. You have him as a D cutter? Yep, D cutter. He catches he his Ds, man. He gave catches up a his ton of yards. yards. He does. Well, that yeah, doesn't matter. But, but, he, but he gets blocks. And yeah, who, who is our best defensive player, you know, in our, our Nationals run? It was Everest. And he just poaches off guys and gets blocks. <laughs> That's what yeah. Trayvon Diggs would do. <laughs> he yeah. just gets blocks. <laughs> Um, okay, so once again, I got the two picks. Um, okay, first pick, I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna stick with the offense for now. Get another guy who uh, is another athletic freak, sort of uh, plays like Everest a little, um, in that he just kind of will fly through people um, sometimes without any like any sense of like where his body is, and he's got that youthful energy. So I'm gonna take John Moran. And to kind of round out my O line with uh, Giannis and Patrick Mahomes, they give another bouncy cutter to Patrick to shoot deep or cut wherever. And then oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna also uh, dip into the the Europe Europe side. You know I'm here. Got, okay. Gotta, um, gotta represent. So the new uh, the new signee uh, Erling Holland. I'm gonna have as my mm. cutter. He is like so. he's a six four, by the way. Incredible speed, and I think he'll he'll round out the O line pretty well. Um, Damn, that, he was on our list, Sam. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, um, I don't even know what sport he plays. I he's assume huge. soccer. Yeah, he's a striker. Uh, um, the way. The way Jonah just set up this last pick got me a little nervous that this person might go off the board. And at this point, I think it's I think it's a it's necessary. I think I got to go with the Ant Man Anthony Edwards as an O line oh. cutter. I'm bringing we're bringing mentality. We're winning the psychological matchup all for day. Sure. Kermit, ah, uh, I saw so Kermit Sam, for sure. I had him rate him high. I th- I thought we, we he was gonna fall in like the what round are we in? The fifth. I thought we can get him in the sixth. We should have known. We should have known Max would take him. I know. I know. Well. I don't know how this guy fell, and Sam, I'm just going to take him off the board. Do it. Um, I'm going to take the fastest guy in the NFL and the shiftiest guy in the NFL, Tyree Kill. Mm, and- washed, washed. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's close. Did you see him in the Pro Bowl? In the Pro Bowl? Dude, he didn't even win the 40. I know. He lost. He lost. <laughs> this guy is going to be unguardable playing frisbee i don't think there's anyone on this list i don't even think jalen ramsey in an open field on an audl field no one's gonna yeah. guard this guy open under That's every day point. i saw i saw tyreek and then he's gonna do a lot Tyreke. of running while the rest of your team is in walkers i mean Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all of our teams That's the whole plan, four, man. four handlers and tyreek just is, r- runs around and tires everyone out all right yeah. we're we're back to the auto draft so uh i'll call on you max who you got for for oh, I, got I, I got one of these. I got one of these. Oh, you want to go, go Jonah? Ahead, Jonah. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, yeah. Can I go? So, um, 
So I was just doing a little research uh, between the rounds and uh, some other like Hall of Fame players. Um, so I, I want to give Jamie someone with a big arm um, who's got a, I think he plays outfield. Uh, this this uh, gentleman named Scott Seuss, he's uh, in the football Hall of Fame um, as an outfielder. Uh, <laughs> You're going to have to spell that. There. You're going to have to spell that for him. Scott, S-C-O-T-T, -T, and then S-O-O-S, Seuss. Is he an active player? Um, I think so. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll try to find it. Can I me. screen share real quick? Oh, no, no. Disabled. Uh, you should, we'll, Sam, we'll you take should your look word for it. Look up a yeah, picture yeah. of him. I'm sure he's he just, great. I'm he sure looks like great. a clown. He looks like a clown, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is the guy you want leading your team, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, he throws right-handed. You need that. You need okay. that. <laughs> Most valuable player 2013 and 14. <laughs> okay. With football <laughs> hall of fame. Okay. So, Great. Oh, he's been an no all-star right selection here. every year for the past like 12 years. I'll he's throw a, him a legend. I'll throw him as our other O-line handler alongside Jordan Speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love it. Uh, it, do I have this one? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah. So so I think I think one thing that Jamie is lacking. Um you know, different from my team. Obviously, my team brings a lot of personality. I think Jamie's team needs a little personality. So I'm going to go with D-line handler Johnny Manziel. We, <laughs> we, need, we need Johnny Football to make a return. He's got to be an active player, I think, in the XFL or the Canadian Football it's, League. And I think he's an athlete. The, what is it? The, the choose your own league or whatever? What's that called? Get this man a contract. Love, Love that. it. Love that. Um, He's Ryan, got a lot I'll, of talk. I'll go ahead and take our next one, um, because I think we have a lot of good O players, but we need another D. We need another another dog on D, or I guess we need a, our first dog on D because we have like a a LeBron to kind of quarterback the D line O, but yeah, we need a dog. So I will take Jimmy Butler, nice hey, dog, um, and. Guy. He can do handler or cutter. I think I'll put him as a handler for now, but um, you know he'll guard anyone. He'll he'll probably play anything on offense. So, yeah. My only question is, what's going to happen when Jimmy Butler plays one v six against your entire your entire <laughs> starting D line? He's gonna he's gonna get in the old guys' heads about <laughs> about all their injuries. He's gonna set them straight. <laughs> All right. All I know is he's taking a rushed, a rushed huck at the end of the game instead of taking the easy layup. That's all. I know. That's <laughs> hey, all that's I'm a good saying. huck. That's a good huck. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who you got, Max? Um. Uh. There's a few ways I could go. I think. Um. I think I'm gonna take um my D line. Mm, I think I'm gonna stick with uh with uh man this is tough i'm gonna go i'm gonna go because i because i can at this moment and it just comes to the top of my brain i gotta go with my starting d-line handler um this is someone who uh i want who just has limitless range and it's just gonna be able to put that deep for uh for some of the guys put it over boban's head you know <laughs> that's the guy i'm worried about i'm gonna go with d-line handler damian lillard oh um, i'm into that just say just pick it up and just let it rip, you know? That's very much like a, a you on our D-line kind of role. Like play no defense and then just pick it up and do everything? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. No, but he's got, he's got like the attitude too that like makes him seem like he plays defense. So <laughs> <laughs> he does. But he doesn't. <laughs> but by the time they figure that out. We're already winning by the <laughs> yeah. two breaks that we got on two turns. <laughs> 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 All right, Jonah. Okay. Um, so I got four O-line guys. I think I'm going to go D-line. Um, I think I'm going to pick uh, – he just lit it up in the finals, Andrew Wiggins. Um, oh. You know, oh. as a, as a D-line defender, cutter. 
Okay. Dude, don't give him any star roles. All I'm saying, dude. <laughs> he doesn't have to be. He doesn't. He does. He doesn't have any star roles. Um, we'll put him in the perfect situation. You know. I like. We'll that. put him into a nice system with a good coach, and some other stars. You know. Um, and then. I kind of like this guy. You know, he can. He he he's into forehands and backhands, uh, and he's really gritty. Uh, Rafael Nadal. I'm gonna oh. have this, my D line. Handler. Come on, man. We wanted all the 40-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little age. You need a little uh, experience. A little, uh, experience, you know, just mm. someone that knows how to play the mental game, the the game of tennis, right, Max? You know. Oh, I love the psychology of tennis. Of Fantastic course. book. Would recommend. <laughs> I think they're talking about sponsoring uh, this podcast. They are. They are. Tennis. Books, yeah. no, the books are always looking for podcast sponsorships. So. <laughs> um, uh, so uh, to to round out my D line handler spot, um, I think at this point there's a whole lot of personality on my D line. I need someone who's just gonna hold it all together and just get it done. He's just a workhorse, but an overall really good person who's just gonna hold it all together. I think that's gonna be Drew Holiday. And he's going to oh, lock down, absolutely lock down opposing handlers. I think he could take opposing handlers out of the game. That's how good he is. And That's he's your pick. And he's your, your AUDL player's favorite AUDL player. That's for sure. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. He, he's, he's got best defender in the league potential. So, yeah. You know, I took, uh, I took Jimmy Butler for that you know, offensive upside last round, but probably if he was off the board, that was, that was who I would want filling that role. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I want to, I want to add to our uh, D line cutter layer and I'm looking for someone that brings a lot of offensive upside, but also just as a natural athlete and is just really going to just be a dog on defense. And I'm going to take Devonte Adams for the bringer the ADL on defense love it but you know when that disc gets turned he's getting open do you think do you think his uh his game translates to the defensive uh to the defensive mindset i think so i think i think he just wants to dominate and there's a lot of dominating possibilities on defense oh okay (laughs) we got jamie again auto draft uh i feel like ryan needs to to chip in here and give jamie someone I, I have a guy who I actually I had him on my list of someone I want to take, but I think he he fills Jamie's team way better. Um, he's super clutch. Like if you need a guy at the end of the game to really win you games, there's no one better than Justin Tucker. <laughs> oh, dude, oh man, love that, love that, Ryan. Limitless uh, what, range. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> What do you see he's him as? Like, Probably he's, like a D-line, he's a D line cutter. Like okay. when you're going to Universe Point and you guys are you you just scored, you need another break. Like he's your end of the game D line cutter to get that D Dude, and sprint deep. And take imagine, off. imagine the kick spikes, from Justin <laughs> Tucker. <laughs> Josh Lane would be so proud. I'm I'm wondering, do you think that he uh, he does a better kick spike um, than Stacy Gaskell's at uh, at Nationals? That oh, was I don't know. No, no way. way. All right, uh, we're officially at the halfway point. Um, oh. Why don't we take a look at our our rosters here? Oh, okay. So for Jonah, we've got four O line, three D line so far, but the names on here are are pretty good. You've got two handlers in Nadal and Mahomes, and then cutters with Giannis, Kawhi, John Moran, and Erling Holland. Um, so these are your first seven. Do you think these will be your, you know, your universe point seven? Or I, I think uh, I think that they could be, you know, I got I think I got a nice mix of some like age, some experience, but also some young, some youth to to really round it out you know Mm -hmm. and i I mean i trust the the Giannis mahomes connection more than anything more than any two players that you guys got sorry i mean Mm -hmm. that's a pretty unstoppable connection yeah so that's all right that's kind of where i'm at max you want to speak to your your selection so far yeah uh i don't think that these seven are my universe seven 
Um, I think we're we're building we're building a a full a full roster, and because we have we have you know only four teams drafting, I feel like I can continue to build. Um, I will say that my team just beats everyone when it comes to chemistry and when it comes to psychological like these people like are going to team therapy sessions and the therapist is saying get out of my office you like like you are teach me something teach me something <laughs> love it that's a that's a, that's a key part of team building so i'm glad you got that in mind <laughs> Ryan, what sam do you what do you what do you think of our team oh man um i like i like the names we've got so far um i i think we could use some more youth probably i think I, we in the later honest. rounds we're gonna look for some height some speed and some agility yeah we um, we're still looking got... for our athletes but i think we've got our our core and our sort of brain trust if you will you got yeah some i think i think we've got our our starting handlers down maybe throw in one or two more but now we're looking for just like dogs yeah um and then I think we can all speak to Team Jamie. Like, since we're sort of collaborating, it's it's turned I'm out to be the best. Team. Yeah, the best of all of us. Um, <laughs> I mean, so uh, uh, a host set with Jordan Speed, Scott Seuss, and Johnny Football. I mean, <laughs> who's stopping that, right? You know, <laughs> don't forget Justin Tucker. Do you think Scott Seuss brings like some new throw to the game? Like he's throwing something that's yeah. never been. Seen. He's got to be right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, all I know is if I'm on D-line and I run down the field and I see Jordan Spieth and Scott Seuss lining up and they've got Yadier Molina cutting on dirt, I'm going home. I'm quitting. <laughs> to all you college captains out there who are thinking about recruiting, take your take your take your team over to the wiffle ball team, the local wiffle ball <laughs> team. That's where the future lies with this sport. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Wow. All right. We're halfway through. I think that was a great first half. And uh unfortunately, the best team kicks us off with the first pick of the second half. So uh anyone got a good a good pick for Jamie for the auto draft? I have a oh. good lengthy, lengthy one, but Max, you got it. Oh, Max, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, uh, Jamie, you know, you can never have too much length on uh, the D-line. Mm -hmm. So why not give him, like, the lengthiest person I know? And uh, let's let's give him Bull Bull, um, <laughs> someone who's yeah. a massive, uh, massive presence, you know, to pair with, uh, what, who else is he got? Rudy Gobert and... Oh, and, and Boban. Uh, Boban. I mean, Bobo and Boban in the, in the backfield. I mean, untapped potential. I'll tell you that much too. This is, this team is building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, who you got for us? Oh, so we need some athletic dogs. I. I think we need some defensive players. And with that in mind, I'm going to take a shutdown defender and I'm going to take Mika, F Minka Fitzpatrick from the Steelers. Good mm. move. Yeah, that's solid. That is solid. I love the corners. I think, I think the corners are just versatile players. I, I was talking to a, a coworker today and we both kind of agreed that we think like, NFL corners and safeties are like the most athletic dudes in the world. They might be. They might be. I like that. I feel like that's our first kind of ball hawk uh, for sure. Under downfield. Stone who's going to get turnovers downfield. Mm -hmm. Jimmy's going to lock someone up, but Mink is going to get some blocks. Yeah. All right, Max. Um, I think I got to go with an O-line cutter, and I got to go with someone who just – embodies the spirit of this podcast um i gotta go with someone who's always open um i gotta go with someone who's small though who brings a lot of free uh, unders yes. especially with the over the tops i gotta go cooper cup uh cooper i, I can see this coming it's he's great open i thought about taking him with our last pick but i thought we just had too many just regular cutters regular cutters that's what you're calling them regular yeah cutters. would you rather have cooper cup or Devonte adams I mean, 
He's on our D line though. Triple crown, <laughs> baby. You know. <laughs> I'd rather uh, have Justin Tucker, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> 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 um, all right, Jones. Okay. So all right. So I, I haven't picked an O line guy. Last two were D line. So I think I'm gonna round up my O line handlers with another big body from the NFL, a rival of Patrick Mahomes, but I trust that they can get over their rivalry to really form a bond and a connection in the backfield. I think I'm going to get Josh Allen oh. as my second, as my second handler. Um, and I'll, you know, another enormous guy, whoever you're putting on him, he's just going to body. He's going to get up. He's going to get over him. And he's surprisingly athletic also, I think in the backfield. So yeah. that'll be a good guy to pair with Pat. And then back to the de- defensive side, I think, oof. So my, my top five on my big board on the defense are all gone except for this guy. Um, uh, he's not really, def- he's more of a winger as they, as they say in football, but uh, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher his name, but uh, Killian Mbappe, I'm going to put his another mm. D-line uh, cutter. Great pick. He's a leader pick. and extremely athletic, someone that can run the entire game and has the has the energy to to get the D's and still run it still run an offense with a uh, Rafi afterwards. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Jonah, your team's looking really good. That's hey. a great pick. I'll say if if we were like soccer fans first, he would probably be like a first or second round pick. <laughs> if I'm being honest, um, but yeah, that's a great pick. Um, so I'm gonna round out my O line cutters. This will be my last O line cu- cutter. To go with someone i actually ran into him at the airport um uh and i feel like that i feel like the look that he gave me um when he was getting traded from the minnesota vikings i knew i was like we'll see each other sometime in the future it was one of those looks i gotta go with uh with stefan Diggs, um one of the best route runners in the game um i think with his route running ability he's just he's gonna get open he's gonna get open and he brings and he gets the best out of his brother and his brother gets the best out of him so i got i gotta i gotta see an action you got the chemistry there with the brothers mm-hmm. uh we're back to the ring of the team ryan who you got i think this is your pick sam i think i took the last one. Oh, okay we could use some more ball hawks on defense um and also um, we haven't picked any Saints players yet, so I will pick the former Kansas City Chief. Oh Dude, wow, Ron Matthew. Okay, the Honey okay. Badger. The Honey oh, Badger. The Honey Badger. Um, back to back ball hawks. Love it. Yeah, I think those two are going to generate all the blocks we need. Honestly, on that end. Yeah, we're back to back to the auto draft. Anyone got a good pick for? Yeah, I've, I've got squad? someone. Um, we, we've kind of filled out Jamie's team with a lot of short guys and, you know, Jonah, Jonah added a lengthy guy last time, but I just, I'm thinking, you know, Jamie needs, this guy kind of like reminds me a lot of Jamie on the field. And I'm thinking <laughs> JaVale McGee would be a great oh, player. McGee. <laughs> Love it. Uh, what do you, what do you think in position wise for him? He, I think he needs to be a handler O or D. I don't know. <laughs> you need to get that man the disc in his hand. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have any D-line handler, so let's make him a D-line handler. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, all right. Oh, I got you. Yes. So this person um, just is going to bring an immense amount of speed. Might be the fastest person <laughs> out here. <laughs> um, I got to go with um, Kyle Bush. <laughs> oh great race call. car involved race car <laughs> you spell his name like bush light i think so i yeah. hope so that's probably the only okay. right way to spell it so. um is is he the other is he the counterpart to javel mcgee on the d-line handlers group yeah i guess so I mean, <laughs> wow I mean, so on offense <laughs> on offense you've got jordan speed and scott seuss on defense, you've got JaVale McGee and Kyle Bush running things. I don't know. I don't know how our teams are going to stand up to this. Sam, you're going to make like a like a 
like a breakdown of each of our teams right with like pictures of people like <laughs> uh, some like cool movie poster of all, all of our teams right yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna like run a simulation of like how the games would play. Uh, <laughs> sick, sick, sick. all right 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 who we got we've taken uh cutters in the last round and i'm looking for someone that it really i need someone to throw it to them on a dime and I'm going to take uh, Lionel Messi, probably top three, top five throwers in this league. Wow, you're just going to old with the age, though. <laughs> hey, we Experience. didn't say we needed more than one season. You're so. right, you're right, you're right. <laughs> if we're playing a game tomorrow, we'll be fine. <laughs> my, is it my turn? Oh, he's rattled, he's rattled. Oh, uh, no, Bam Adebayo, D-line cutter. Oh, oh whoa, whoa, Enough whoa. said. <laughs> he he's got the power of Dwight Howard and Bam Adebayo put together. It's it, unstoppable. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go O line here, get some youthful youthful spirit, youthful energy. Uh, guy that's gonna play well alongside some other great talent. Um, SGA, another lengthy O line yeah. cutter. Um, Sam, I know you're a big fan. <laughs> that's a good pick. Um, what position you got for him? O line cutter. But you said we can change at the end too. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So for now, I think that. And then, so this guy's game, Sam. I was really scared you were gonna pick him as a Saints guy, but I think this guy's game would actually transfer really well to defense and just frisbee in general. But I'm gonna go Alvin Kamara, mm -hmm. skilled route runner, but also has great hands and can. Uh, I think, I think he could grind as like a D-line, like cutter defender or handler defender. That's what I'm thinking, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, all right. I got to go with, uh, with, um, with another O-line handler. Uh, I got to go with some more attitude, Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I didn't cool. want to do it. Because, because, but the after Jonah took Josh Allen, that really screwed up my draft. And I think Joe Burrow is is the is the right piece there. And I think Steph Curry can throw him open consistently. All right, I need a, I need someone that's just gonna just go up and just win in the air every time. Um, and also someone who's not afraid to just shoot the ball, whether it's, you know, he misses but he keeps shooting back and. Uh, this might be a little hometown stuff, but I'm gonna take Zach Levine. That's a oh. good pick. Yeah. Wait, do you have him playing handler? No, I have him as a uh, D line cutter. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, he's um, clamping down. Yeah, he's a he's an athlete. He can get up. Probably. Sure. That's a great pick. Probably one of the best in our in our draft at that. <laughs> he, he's still kind of he, he's young for our team. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I I got a guy. I got a guy. Okay. Um, you know he's he's got a great uh great family. You know he comes from a long line of basketball superstars. Um, uh, he's he's currently he's not quite, I guess, in the pros yet technically. But um, I'm gonna go with the uh, Jello Ball. You know, <laughs> the one with just the, he he's he's got the the DNA capable of being a great offensive player, but he just just can't quite put it together yet <laughs> yeah i love it i love it i mean that's really jamie coming into college like jamie didn't know what frisbee was but then you know he he built his skill set over time so jello is like a long-term play you roster jello because you know in, in a couple of years he could be maybe Lamelo or maybe lonzo maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. all right i'll i'll take jamie's next round i think um, so all he needs now is uh, O-line cutters. He has a lot of height, you know, on his D-line, but I don't know if we've really given him that on his O-line. So I'm going to go with Taco Fall as his <laughs> his sort of, you know, obviously Yadier Molina is his initiating cutter, but Taco Fall will always be there for the deep ball. Um, definitely think that's a good fit. Uh, and then getting back to our team, I think switching gears, I'm going to pick an O-line cutter because we could use an O-line cutter. And this guy is someone who initially I'd picked as a D-line guy, but I think he would be just as good at O-line, and that's Paul George. 
Didn't even think like about it. I like that pick. Um, he strikes me as someone who would have like nasty throws, but like in a low key way because he's so good at cutting that it doesn't really matter. All right. Uh, I gotta go with um, an NBA All Star reserve. Um, the uh, the Roy, not to uh, not to. Not to not to take ever Shapiro's uh, not to take ever Shapiro's title, but uh, I'm gonna go with the Roy Lamelo ball, and I think that 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 what Lamelo holds over Jello is just gonna take his <laughs> it's just gonna take his trajectory and just put it back down the garbage. He might even be lucky if he becomes if he becomes Lavar by the end of this. <laughs> I mean, boy, Lamelo ball is my third O line handler. Um and okay. and he's uh he's he's the stack center he's the uh he's the option to go deep you know and uh I, I think his over the top throws are huge he's he's putting the ball in a very interesting spaces. <sighs> what do I mean? Yeah, so I think I'm missing another O line handler. Um, this guy didn't have the success this season he wanted, um, but he's athletic. He can shoot anywhere, you know, he can get open. I'm going to take Devin Booker to round out my O-line handler spot. Um, I, I trust he'll, he'll be able to get open and he'll be a nice third uh, compliment to Patrick and Josh Allen. And then uh, on D-line, I'm going to get another just monster defender. Uh, he's not going to be asked to do too much on the offensive end, but he can, he can obviously – Put on when he needs to. Uh, Pascal Siakam as a D line cutter. Uh, I gotta think about my last D line cutter, so I'm gonna go with um, the stack setter for my D line. Um, someone who's an all around stud, triple double threat every night. I'm gonna go with Deontay Murray. He's got great length. Great length. He's good for one or two hand blocks on Trevor Lynch, just like Jamie. You wanna call him a, a cutter? Technically, sure. Yeah. Wait. Are you, are we doing two, two or three handlers? Yeah, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll have him cut. I'll have him cut. I'm looking for, for a O line cutter, but he can also kind of transition to maybe a handler position. Um, I'm gonna take Jason Tatum. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's had a rough night. He wasn't on my board. He was not on my board because of because of his performance tonight. It just really put in the trash for me. <laughs> I will I will say he he did do a lot to get here. So it's there's true. a lot of players that aren't even there. This might not have that that gene, you know. I don't think he, he doesn't have that dog him. in him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he got the dog. I mean, that's I'll also question. say I'll also say though that Joey. Hauser or Sam Hauser, one of the Hauser twins, was definitely seeing the floor at the end of the game for the Celtics. Um, and he was also in the NBA Finals. So, <laughs> I, I actually, you know, we've kind of been joking all night. So I want to give this Jamie, like his team, like an actual athlete, some guy who's been in the Pro Bowl. He's 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 really been on his team and been like kind of the heart of his team for a while. I'm thinking Kyle Uzcheck. Uh, <laughs> Solid, solid athlete. He scores touchdowns in the Pro Bowl and like when it when it matters too. So I think I don't know what position Jamie needs, but Kyle Uzcheck can play whatever position he needs. I mean, he's got the dog in him that Jason Tatum just doesn't, you know. Like so. <laughs> he's what they call a five tool player, that's for sure. He's got yeah. everything. <laughs> I'll make him just the third handler. I feel like he's got. Damn, I think you spelled his name correct. That was awesome. No, I I looked it up because I was like, there's no fucking way I'm going to spell this right. (laughs) All right. We got to close out Jamie's team with an O line cutter. God. I'm trying to to think of someone really good, you know, really athletic. I mean, we should just give him, I think, the guy he wanted all along, you know? I think Um, so. I think so. Right. That's I mean, idea, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we got to round it out with um, yeah. the fastest hundred, the fastest man ever. Uh, Usain Bolt. You know, he may not have any kind of other speed, but hundred meters or straight. Skill. <laughs> he can run in a straight line. The man can run in a straight line. I'll give exactly, him that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs>
he just stands at the line of the end zone and just runs deep every single time. No one can stop him, you know. So <laughs> except for when he put Giannis in the end zone. <laughs> All right. Um, well, uh, with with Jamie's team out of the way, without a doubt, the best team. Um, I had someone in mind to close out our team, and I I figured he would be safe till the last round because he's a soccer player. Um, and so I want to pick N'Golo Conte mm, good pick. as a D line handler. So if you don't know who he is, he's a uh, defensive midfielder for Chelsea. He's like insane he's probably like the best defensive midfielder in the world possibly the best defensive player in the world so that's my guy I don't know what he would do in offense necessarily he's pretty small but he would shut down anybody good pick the soccer players they got good endurance you know I think that's pretty underrated Mm -hmm. and pretty would probably translate very well to the ADL field certainly yeah all right Max close your team out who you got um last d-line cutter uh needs someone who can go deep um but who who's also gonna just lock it down uh i'm gonna go with jaron jackson jr it's a good pick i thought about him marcus smart absolutely would have been on my list but again tonight i was just disappointed by the amount of flops oh it was and, insane uh, <laughs> yeah and just the lack of heart just the lack of heart yeah, flopping is just not fun to watch, honestly. But it's yeah. like it's always been his thing, but tonight it was just like, yeah. come on, bad. man, put it away for now. <laughs> yeah. Um, all um, right, Jonesy, close us out. Who's the Mr. Irrelevant of our Mr. Irrelevant? Hmm. All right. Well, you know, I hate being put on the spot. I've been trying to think of a really good last player, you know, someone to round up my D line. So I think I'm gonna make a minor switch here. I think I want Alvin Kamara as a as a D line cutter, defending cutters, and then I want I think I'm gonna have Justin Herbert as my other handler on D line. Just a another just gritty guy who can just who can who has a I'd say semi reckless arm, but uh, that's kind of what you need on D line. You know? That's D line so, for you. Yeah, yeah that's D line. So that's I think what I. Well, I mean, I, I, are we doing three handlers or what, whatever, whatever, up, right? whatever your offense is. I think on D line, let's make let's make Kamara a cutter, and I think that that'll be perfect. Okay. All right, uh, so that rounds out our draft, um, and I have our rosters, but I also have just our, oh, our lines nice. sorted out. Um, so let's just let's go team by team, I guess, and and see what we got so let's start with jonah um yeah what do we think of jonah's d-line uh got a lot of dogs on that team i think he's putting a lot on Kawhi and mbappe uh on defense to earn him blocks i think he i think i think he's putting a lot on those two to earn those blocks for sure that's fair that's fair but and, and they are pretty damn good players to lean on. Yeah. I would say uh, I like – I feel like your your D-line handlers are sort of a, a – well, I mean, to use the term literally, a quarterback and then a reset. Um, <laughs> but if you're, if you're going to do that, I think Justin Herbert is, is a great choice for that. So, I mean, yeah, I – Obviously, all these teams are going to be disgusting. So, yeah, yeah. I think outside Wiggins of what Max said, turn. yeah, Wiggins after the turn, that's going to be pretty tough to pretty tough to defend. But he's he's a streaky guy, you know. We just gotta <clears throat> all he needs to do is is have a few catches in a row, and then he'll be set, you know. Yeah, just like Josh in the Nationals. <laughs> I think Mbappe on a turn is just going to bust deep, and no one's going to stay with him. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, um, Herbert just hucking it. Honestly, looking at your team, I think my if I were the coach of this team, my tweaks would be I would swap Giannis and Mbappe, and I would swap really? okay. Uh, I would swap SGA with Camara. Okay. Um, He's got he doesn't have a whole lot of height though in his O line cutters. Then if Giannis leaves, 
That's true. I mean, yeah, that's true. Holland, Holland's pretty big. Um, Holland's six four. Yeah, I just don't know what his. I don't know what his vert is. You know, because he's not really. But yeah. Well, John Morant's got got the vert. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I don't know. I'm that's a, a that's a good point. I just feel like Giannis is. Uh, you know, I mean, he's like a Giannis defensive player, player of the player. year. So yeah, I think I think you'd have to send Giannis to D line, and you'd have to send, uh, and then you'd have to, and then you could send Wiggins over to O line, uh, and then you could maybe swap Mbappe and Holland. And <laughs> I do like Mbappe on O line. That's for sure. Yeah, that's for yeah, sure. I'm with, okay. that. I'm with that. All right, all right. He's he's the O line face. You know, mm-hmm. that's fair. But yeah. That's fair. Overall, I think a, a successful draft for you, Jonah. Hey, well, thank you. All right, let's let's move on to Max's team. And honestly, this team turned out very well. Yeah, you, a, lot, a lot better than I thought it was turning out, like mid draft. But now that I look at them all together, uh, like I, I see what you were doing. I see the vision. Yeah, wow. Well, Putting you guys... teams together, teams that work. Yeah. Max, how do you want to take us through? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. You, you got it back. Oh, you want me to take you through? Yeah, like, how the thought process, it? like the chemistry, how's it going to work? Yeah, so I mean, for, from a D-line standpoint, uh, I think uh, I think we have the ability to run some some poachy stuff. Uh, I think Bam Adebayo as our deep deep is pretty safe. Same with Jaron Jackson Jr. They can they can rim protect, but also kind of play some one-on-one D. Um I think Jaron Jackson Jr. Uh, or, I mean, and I think Trayvon Diggs and Jalen Ramsey can lock up uh, individuals uh, and off of a turn. I mean, I think I think the question is, is can we convert off of a turn? I think we're going to get a lot of blocks. And I think Damian Lillard's shooting ability is just going to, it's going to work out. Worst comes to worst, he's shooting to Bam Adebayo. And I feel pretty good about Bam Adebayo in the air. Same with Jaron Jackson Jr., um, I think the question is, is can this, uh, can this D line convert off of their turns, but if they get eight turns and they get, you know, if they go two for eight on breaks, I think that still wins you, wins you the game uh, with such solid O lines here. Mm. Yeah. Looking at your O line, I don't really see any, any issues either. I guess Joe Burrow being like probably the least athletic is the only main thing. Yeah, I, I think I think Lamelo Ball and Steph Curry are creative enough throwers that they're going to be able to get him the ball when they need to, um, and I think, um, uh, and I think, uh, and I think I see like Cooper Cop. Cooper Cop has no issue like throwing his break throws, getting the disc off the sideline. Like most of these guys, it's you know. Joe Burrow doesn't have to sit there and, and cut for 10 stalls. Like, you know, if he's not open, he's not open. You know, there's there's six other guys on the team, you know, or five other guys who can get open. You know? mm-hmm. Absolutely. And I just think his throwing ability when he gets when the ball's in his hands, I'm I'm still I'm feeling I'm feeling confident. I also think the the after the after game, I I think the after game cigars that Joe Burrow is bringing, uh, <laughs> that's that's game changer. That's team bonding right there. <laughs> team bonding after practice smoking cigars they might not be in the greatest of shape but they damn they're gonna have a good time <laughs> jamie's got four o-line handlers really uh <laughs> push, push <them> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. jamie's running a four three oh he's running he's running hex offense actually. that's, hex. Yeah. that's what he told me he's running a hex yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right um yeah why don't we since you mentioned it why don't we just go into jamie's team um this is without a doubt the best <laughs> team. So for D line, obviously you've got Johnny Football. Um, obviously he can't use his scrambling ability, which is like his main thing. But like he can, <laughs> you know, he can sort of quarterback the defense. Um, he's got a big reset into Bill <laughs> McGee, and then uh, I have no idea what Kyle Bush looks like. But if he's driving a car, he he can be pretty fast. And get open for a reset, and then yeah, <laughs> I don't think three, people are gonna get close to him. They've got three seven two plus <laughs> centers, <laughs> cutters, and then Justin Tucker is maybe the only guy trying to get unders. So you know that's that's a recipe for success for a D line. <laughs> yeah, 
they might be playing barefoot style you know if you're oh, yeah. barefoot, they might be just oh, hopping God. and playing Shooting. zone absolutely because these guys are not playing person defense no. i mean <laughs> not successfully I mean, anyway yeah they're gonna uh, have yeah. three deep deeps <laughs> I, I could see them running like a uh like a like some kind of four man dom with just Boban, Bobo, and Rudy just standing in the end zone the entire time and just just waiting. If I mean, yeah, it's barefoot style. Yeah, we we learned about that. Yeah, yeah. And looking at their O line, I mean, they they've got long ball shooters like Jordan Speed, Leandro Ball, and Scott Seuss. <laughs> like those guys are gonna be unstoppable. Yeah. yeah, Kyle Juszczyk about... is kind of seems like a reset guy to me, but he, you know, he can just bowl over guys and then get open for. <laughs> They're gonna be having Nick Kazmarek, the pit head coach, just spinning, <laughs> trying to trying to lock up this hex offense. This isn't anything he's ever seen before. If you look at the Brown Pit uh, game, uh, they locked Brown up, you know, for maybe four or five points or so, but after that, it was just. It was all out. I got to think if Leangelo Ball can just figure out how to get through the first few points, then just give the disc over to Scott Suits and let it rip. <laughs> have have you guys heard of the Scroogey, the Scroogey throw? Um, <laughs> Scott Suits is known for the Scroogey. <laughs> oh, fuck. Scott Suits oh, is actually going to invent a new throw. That's that's what I'm feeling. He's going to take over the ADL, throwing it like between his legs, like the no look, like behind the back, something. I don't, I don't know, but we'll see. He's got that creative ability you just need on in, in a big field, you know. Yeah, Seuss and I mean, Molina, that's tough. That's a tough. That's Max. Tough. You're tough. you're talking about Pittsburgh Frisbee. Like if you take Henry Ng off that field and replace him with Taco Fall, like a real tall person, <laughs> that <laughs> team is just it's a game changer. Game changer. And the chemistry between Usain Bolt and Yadier Molina was just. <laughs> 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 oh man, Jamie is gonna love this team. <laughs> okay. Um. So lastly, let's move to Team Ringer, the AUDL. Um, I think this turned out pretty well. Yeah, I, we've got a lot of, you know, aged old people on our team. But, I mean, looking at our D-line, I mean, we've got pedigree. lockdown defenders and Minka and, and Tyron Matthew and just fucking athletes and Devontae Adams and Zach Levine. Like, I – and then just – Jimmy Butler, LeBron, Conte, like I think our D line is really where where we stand out against the other teams. Yeah, I think um if you know if you got a locked in LeBron playing defense, um, which is you know, it's an if, but him, Jimmy Butler, and Conte as your handler defenders can sort of muck up a lot of that, like sort of easy stuff that teams usually get and sort of force. Uh, maybe looks they're not super comfortable with into our kind of ball hawks and athletes. So yeah. I think uh, I think I'm much. I think I would say that we have the best D line. Um, I would definitely say that our D line is better than our O line. But yeah, Your I could D-line? say our D line running some kind of zone um, with just some ball hawks, just like flying in on over the top throws. I would say that your D line. Like the hole that I'm seeing is like, uh, like throwers, like who's going to be the throwers. Uh, I mean, LeBron can do a whole lot, but I think the throwers is where the holes are, but you have such a like disciplined team that yeah. I think if you just like really hone in on like 90% throws, um, which you can do because of the discipline, like everyone on that team is pretty, pretty well disciplined. I think you're, uh, I think I think you're I think that's that that team's that ter- that team's uh putting in a few breaks each game. Yeah, that's for sure. For yeah, sure. I think I think Lamar Jackson might be like the, one of the best players in this draft because I think he just his his play style and his athleticism will translate incredibly well. And he already has the arm and the sidearm, and he's got all the jukes necessary to be an incredibly deadly handler threat, especially reset to. To KD, I think that that that'll be a deadly combo. And then you got mm-hmm. 
you got some experience and how old's Messi now like 40 or something <laughs> <laughs> like 50. I was, we have we have the Messi ronaldo connection yeah, yeah that's right that's, that's right. nasty um i think looking at our o-line um since since we ended up picking a messy i would swap durant to just be a cutter um i was gonna say yeah yeah but uh because i think messy is sort of like your your nether cut like old guy who has all the throws you could possibly dream of and then chiseled <laughs> yeah and then lamar jackson can be he's got throws too but he can be sort of like a an easy reset and then i mean messy is obviously insanely shifty too so i don't think they'll have any trouble like resetting the stall count and continuing to look downfield wait That's so if, if if lino messi is your nether cut then who's your daniel brunker the uh the reset for for nether cut who's your brunk <laughs> i guess uh lamar jackson would be <laughs> I, I like that comp i grew up with daniel brunker watching him play ultimate and Lamar Jackson is the first person I think of when I think about his ultimate Frisbee game. So. There you go. There you the go. man, the man signs fans discs. I'll tell you that much at every Colorado summit game. Have you seen Ryan? He is a disc signer and Lamar Jackson's bringing the same mentality. Here. I'll have to, I'll have to bring my, my, I have an AUDL official desk. I'll have to bring it to the next hey, game. Hey, there we go. Run around, run around screaming. You guys, Daniel you guys got to give him the sponsor Daniel the pod. <laughs> Well, we got to get him on the pod. Yeah, get him on the pod. Get him on the pod. Come on. As we always say, if you've made it this far, and whoever, whoever you are, you're, you're welcome on the pod. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, we probably won't have anyone listen to this, but I had fun. So that's a successful episode <laughs> yeah, right there. Let's do a poll and then not say that Jamie was auto drafted and people will just yeah, be like, yeah, what yeah, the yeah, fuck yeah. is this? Team? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he did get all the athletes, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's kind of jealous <laughs> of his team. We'll make sure Scott got, Seuss got, knows. Got, well, you guys got to tag him a lot and DM him and make sure you get yeah, his on Twitter. approval. <laughs> Probably. I mean, he, we were looking for, for age and, 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 Jamie just got Yadi or Molina off the board real quick. He's got oh, seven God. followers. That's is that, Last is that was in 2012. That's a follow. That's an instant follow. <laughs> is that Seuss? <laughs> what is this? That's our guy. <laughs> Jonah, how did he you He owns a carpet guy? company. <laughs> <laughs> Love Damn, it. He's the nasty. entrepreneur. <laughs> That's travel uh, funds right there for your uh, ABL team. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. He's getting he's getting Seuss, Seuss cleaning right there, right right in the front, right next to Starbucks or whatever, right? right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Any closing pleasure. thoughts from our special guests, Max and Jonah? Yeah. Uh, it was a pleasure to be on the pod. Um, <laughs> I'd love I'd love to love to talk some more AUDL, give you some more nuggets. Um, Got a lot of inside scoops on uh, the psycho psychology, but I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, some of the mo- the best, the best hosts I've ever, you know, I've ever dealt with. I'll tell you that much. Um, Absolutely. It's thank been you. a pleasure, uh, fellas. Thank you. Um, thank you guys for having me on and uh, for taking my idea. I just kind of spurred the moment like two days ago. And it's honestly all I've been able to think about these past two days. So I'm happy I actually got to um, really get it all out there and, um, now I can go wake up Jamie and tell him how terrible his team is and uh, rub it <laughs> in his face. So I know he'll love he'll love to see that all over Twitter too. So um, yeah, the, also yeah, would love to do more stuff in the future. Really happy uh, surprise guest Max Lang, corporate corporate guy now uh, taking the time out of his day to uh, <laughs> to to make some time for the fans. You know, it's one thirty really in the morning, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs>